Okay, so let's see if you have the math skills needed to solve this math word problem, which is the following. Bus A has 18 more seats than bus B. Together they have 96 seats. How many seats does each bus have? All right, so this is the problem. Feel free to use a calculator, but if you have an answer, go ahead and put that into the comment section. I'll show you the correct solution in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to solve this problem step by step. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly tell you who I am. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you want a nice, easy to understand way to learn math, well, then check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. All right, now before I show you the answer, let's take another look at the problem. So bus A has 18 more seats than bus B. All right, so bus A has more seats than bus B. Together they have 96 seats. How many seats does each bus have? All right, so let's take a look at the answer. The correct answer is the following. Bus A has 57 seats and bus B has 39 seats. All right, now, if you got this right, well, you definitely get a happy face and an A+. Plus. And if you're like, uh, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I'm totally confused. Can you help me out? Well, yes, I can. And we're going to be solving this problem using algebra. Now, I don't like to say solve this algebra word problem because a lot of people get afraid of that little uh, phrase, right? Like algebra, I don't like algebra, and I don't particularly don't like algebra word problems. It makes my hair stand up. Well, again, if you don't know algebra and you figure this out, that is fantastic, right? So use whatever math you know to try to figure out this problem, okay? And if you're able to solve this without algebra, again, outstanding. But the easiest way to solve this problem is using algebra because we have some unknown values here, right? So what don't we know? We don't know how many uh, seats bus A has and bus B. So when, we, uh, when we're looking for unknown values in a math problem, well, we want to let a variable or variables represent those unknowns. Okay, now I'm going to get to uh, all this algebra stuff in just one second, but let's just review some basic things about math word problems, and that is use the rule of three. Okay, don't start doing anything in terms of math until you read a problem at least three times. Right? Let this information soak in and make sure you understand the question. All right, now that we understand what's going on and we're thinking about algebra, we're saying, all right, I'm looking for what? How many seats does each bus have? So I'm looking for bus A, the number of seats, and bus B, okay? Well, these are going to be two different seats, right? And our least number of seats. So we uh, want to use two different variables to represent uh, the number of seats bus A has and bus B has. So that's a good starting point. So let's just go ahead and define that. So we'll let A equal the number of seats bus A has, right? So you want to kind of use descriptive variables. You can let uh, X and Y be your variables. But in this case, you know, we have bus A and bus B. So let's just go ahead and let A represent the number of seats bus A has. And then we'll let B, this variable, uh, represent the number of seats bus B has. Okay, now, of course, if we can solve for A and B, we will have solved the problem. Okay, so what's going on here? Well, what's going on is that we have two variables, okay? Now, for those of you that know a bit of, of algebra, you may know how to solve equations like this, like 2x is equal to 10. Now, this type of equation is a single variable linear equation, very easy to solve. So in this case, uh, all we need to do to solve for x is divide both sides of the equation by 2. But in this uh, situation, we have two variables, a and b. You see, this equation here has only one variable and we can solve it but when you're trying to solve for uh, two variables well you typically you're going to need two equations all right so we're going to have to come up with two equations that involve both a and b so this is what we call a system of equations all right this is a big topic in algebra so again we have two variables so we're going to need two equations we can't solve for a or b unless we have two equations okay or at least one equation but in this case again we have two variables so you need two equations all right so i um, don't want to kind of get uh, too far off 
in terms of the algebra. If you need help with any of this stuff, I'll give you some recommendations on how you can learn more. Okay, so we need to construct two equations that involve both A and B. Okay, so how can we do that? Well, we need to go back to the problem. So let's just kind of see if you can come up with one. Okay, all right, so together they have 96 seats. Let's just take this part of the problem right here. So can you think of an equation that we can write that involves both A and B that will represent this right here? Together they have 96 seats. So some of you might be saying, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, let me see here, I gotta get my other eraser out so I can erase this. So uh, one equation we can write is hopefully pretty obvious, and that is A plus B, right? A plus B together, right? So that would be A plus B. Remember, A is the number of seats that bus A has, and B is the number of seats bus B has. So A plus B is what? 96, okay? All right, now there is another equation that we can write here, and that is going to be off the first part of the problem. So bus A has 18 more seats than bus B, okay? So what equation do you think that's gonna be? Okay, or how can we uh, express this in terms of an algebraic equation? Which uh, bus has more, okay? Well, bus A has more than bus B. So how can we write that equation? Well, I'm gonna show you that right now. So we would write this this way, okay? So A has more seats than bus B. Matter of fact, it has 18 more. So bus B, uh, its number of seats plus 18 is how many bus or how many seats the bus A has. Okay, so here are our two equations. So A is equal to B plus 18. And then our other equation is A plus B is equal to 96. All right, so what we're looking at here is a two variable linear system. And this is a big, big deal in basic algebra. And if you're like, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, uh, I forgot all of this stuff. Uh, last time I learned this was 1983. Well, I totally get that. And if you want to relearn algebra, I'm going to give you some specifics here in just one second. But if you didn't know how to set this up, well, here you go. And let's see if you know how to solve this basic system of equations. All right, so let's go and get into that right now. So what we need to do is use uh, two methods, okay? We have two choices here. So algebraically, to solve a system of equation or a two-variable system of equation, uh, we have uh, the substitution method and uh, the linear combination or elimination method, all right? Now, the math teacher in me just can't help to uh, kind of explain this real quick, all right? So we're trying to solve for A and B. What does A and B uh, represent? Okay, well, I'm saying that these are linear equations. Effectively, they represent a line. This is like line one and line two. In other words, we can actually graph these lines on an XY plane. Now, where the points, where these two lines cross, the actual XY coordinate is the solution to this system, okay? Now, here, we're using the variables A and B, but I can replace those A and B with X and Y, all right? So a two-variable linear system, you know, I'm using that word linear, right? They represent lines. So you can even technically graph these here and look to see where they intersect, but we want a better method, a better algebraic uh, method to solve these. And again, those are gonna be the substitution method, and the other method is the linear combination or elimination method. And if you're studying algebra, you absolutely need to understand these methods. And in this particular case, it's gonna be easier to use the substitution method. Now, the goal of both of these methods is to get uh, uh, one equation in one variable. Okay, so I have two equations here that have both A and B, okay? Now, if I can get just one equation that has all A or one equation that has all B, well, then I can solve for that variable. So we're gonna use a, uh, the substitution method, and I'm gonna replace this A in this second equation, A plus B is equal to 96. I'm gonna replace this A with B plus 18, because A is equal to B plus 18, right? So we already know that in our system. So you, we wanna put parentheses around this B plus 18. Okay, so the, this entire thing is gonna be substituted for this A, right? So we are saying that A is the same thing as B, B plus 18. So I can uh, take this A and substitute it for B plus 18. Now, what is the value of doing that? 
Well, the value of doing that is I'm going to create one uh, equation in one variable, right? So now we're very happy about that. We're like, yay, Mr. Two Math Man, I know how to solve these type of equations. All right, so we're going to replace A with B plus 18 in this equation. So now we have B plus 18 plus B is equal to 96. So this is a simple one step, uh, not one step, a multi-step linear equation. Okay, so we have B and another B, so B and B is two Bs, right? So we have like terms, plus 18 is equal to 96. So now all we need to do is subtract 18 from both sides of the equation. 96 minus 18 is 78. So two B is equal to 78. So to solve for B, all we have to do is divide both sides of the equation by two. So B is equal to 39. All right, I know we're very excited. We're like, yes, yes, we're solving the problem. But uh, what does this mean? B is equal to 39. Well, uh, if you recall, okay, this was the number of seats that bus B has. Okay, now we need to figure out what uh, the number of seats bus A has. So let's go ahead and take the next step, which of course is having you quickly subscribe to my YouTube channel. I definitely need your help to continue to grow on YouTube, right? Now, growing on YouTube, when I reach uh, more people or I get more views or more subscribers, it uh, to me, okay, the math teacher in me is like my, I'm getting more students, right? That's how I look at it. And it really does make me feel, you know, uh, like, hey, you know, maybe I'm helping more, you know, as many people as I possibly can, right? My channel is all about trying to help people help you, uh, st you know, stick with math, especially those of you that had a tough time with math. And what I try to do is teach math in a clear and understandable and interesting way. But I need your help to reach as many people as possible. And all you have to do to support this channel is literally hit that subscribe button and hit that bell notification so you get my latest videos. Now, for those of you that want to learn algebra and really understand, you know, uh, algebra word problems, systems, and these different type of equations, well, then check out my full main math courses. And, uh, you know, the kind of math that we're talking about here is like Algebra 1 level mathematics. So you might want to check out that course. Also, I have a ton of additional videos on YouTube with, uh, you know, like over all these different top different topics as well. Okay, so we're almost done here. So we already, I think, did the hard part. Okay, so we solved for B. All right, so B is equal to 39. We used this, uh, the substitution method. So what we can do is go back to either one of the equations in the system. This is clearly the easiest equation to go to to get our value for A. So A is equal to B plus 18. Now that we know that B is equal to 39, I simply can replace this B with 39 and then add 18 to it. So 39 plus uh, 18 is 57. So bus A, which of course, remember, and the problem has more seats than bus B. So uh, bus A has 57 seats and together they have 96 seats. Okay, so hopefully this was an interesting little problem. And uh, for those of you out there that didn't know how to solve the problem, hopefully you're like, yes, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I understand. But here's the deal. Just because you understand, you know, how I solved the problem, it could be quite deceiving because it could give you a false sense of knowing how to do these problems. What am I talking about? Well, let's say that if you want to improve in basketball, are you going to watch uh, the NBA on TV all day and watch people, you know, uh, you know, really do a great job in basketball? Is that going to really help you improve? No, that's not. Now, just because you understand this problem, you may want to see if you can do this or solve this problem in maybe like a week from now, right? Let's just see, let's just see how your long-term retention is going to be. So the point that I'm trying to say is this. If you really want to improve in math and keep this or retain this information, you have to practice, 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 right? So practicing is a huge part of getting better at math, and it does take time. All right, so hopefully this video helps you out. Again, if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.